Hey friends, uh, welcome back to another episode of Going Nuclear. I'm here with a very special guest, uh, Benoit Abache. Uh, he is the president of the Young Nuclear Generation in France. Uh, he's also has a lot of experience in the French nuclear industry. Uh, Benoit, welcome. Thank you and, uh, for, the, for this uh, session together. And it's a pleasure to, to be with you and to discuss, yes, about the French industry and the, the YGN globally. It's my pleasure. Um, I think right now is a really special moment, right? We're here in Abu Dhabi in, uh, in uh, the UAE, United Arab Emirates, and a collection of young generation of nuclears coming together. Uh, tell, tell me a little bit about uh, your role in the IYNC. Uh, what's, what's your thoughts about the IYNC and maybe your vision for the organization as well? <laughs> Uh, yes, so uh, actually, currently as president of the French uh, YGN, my role is uh, in IWNC it's to make sure that uh, people in France uh, know that IWNC exists actually, because there's a lot of conferences in France, in Europe and globally, and to make sure that people wanted to uh, attend and I want to see have all of the useful information. Uh, and the second part of the role is to be, I would say, more visible. Uh, so that's why there's a lot of opportunities that I want to see. You can uh, have technical trucks, you can animate workshops, uh, you can do other kind of activities. And it's to make sure that uh, people having the skills to animate a workshop know that there is this opportunity. For instance, in maybe uh, 30 minutes, I will have to perform a workshop with part of the French team. So it will, part of, uh, it will be part of our, our role as well. And then uh, a third mission is to speak at IONC about, about our YGN because we see a lot of people of all around the world and that's amazing at IONC. As maybe we'll discuss that later, but we have a big uh, industrial program in France. We need skills French skill, but skills from all around the world. And uh, at IYNC, maybe there is uh, people coming abroad wanted to work in France, and it's a good opportunity to make to meet uh, to meet them actually. Wonderful. I, I think that's a great uh, overview and summary. Uh, I think I think France plays a really important role in the global nuclear industry, just because the country is a leader in terms of uh, uh, in terms of electricity production using nuclear in Europe. Uh, and you know the history of developing that nuclear program, and 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 now we're seeing the new technologies being deployed with the EPR. Uh, tell me about that energy that's um, that's building up in the French nuclear space. Yes, so so currently in the French uh, nuclear space, so we have this new EPR program. So. Um, to build six uh, new EPR2, so taking into account the lessons learned of the, of the first EPR generation, and plus maybe eight more. So it means in global 14 new nuclear power plants. So there, were, there was a bill in Parliament to speed, speed up this project. So it's for the long term, the new build. And for the short term, there's long term operation, steam generator replacement and so on. And for this, um, for this long term operation, one of the key words is reducing the lead time. So mm -hmm. make it faster to have more electricity. That's the overview of the French nuclear industry currently. And to make all of that, we have uh, what we call the GFN. So it's all of the industrials gathering together and defining the needs. The needs is to uh, recruit 10,000 persons every year during 10 years. So it's uh, a lot of persons. And actually, we cannot have all of this person if we are looking only at engineers, if we are looking only at French people. So there is a huge need and we have to, to, look, uh, to look big and to, to look every opportunity uh, there is. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think um, Europe as a whole is going through an energy crisis. And I think this is a golden opportunity. Utilize that opportunity to deploy nuclear en masse. I think one thing that uh, I love during this uh, conference or coming together of nuclear specialists and advocates from across the world is um, you, get, you hear so many perspectives, yes. right? And I really enjoyed hearing from a lot of the French delegates and a lot of your colleagues. I think they're really passionate about what they do. And there's a huge, um, uh, you know, community in the French YGN. Tell us about like leading that community. What are some of the, uh, the strategies that you utilize to grow this network? Yes. So, yes, I think you're right with uh, this keyword, the passion. It's uh, something that people have a lot in, in common in in the French nuclear industry, but I think globally as well, it's what I, I noticed at IYNC. So speaking about the, the French uh, YGN, so I started my uh, my term as president of the YGN. Uh, it was about uh, 
a little bit more than two years ago, we were tw uh, 20 volunteers. The context was a little bit different. There was not this new grant program announced and so on. So we are 20 volunteers and now we are a little bit more than 100 volunteers. So five times more actually. So what I have done at, at the beginning, so to, to engage the person, I think it's good to have a vision. So to define, to define okay, that is the vision, our vision for the YGN, that is the roadmap that uh, we will implement uh, compliant with this vision. And then what is important, and I think we are not always as a engineer that good uh, at that, it's to communicate, mm -hmm. to regularly mm -hmm. communicate about the progress of the roadmap, about all of the projects we have, because in the YGN, so there's small groups working on small projects, but having them uh, um, regularly together to share about all of what is done, it gives per perspectives, uh, it communicates about where we are, what we can do in the future, and it's something very important, and I think it has contributed to the growth of uh, of the of the YGN, and uh, maybe of the passion that uh, some of the people have. And with INC, it gives another dimension, I would say, because there's a French dimension, but for the most involved persons, for the person interested in working abroad, they can have this perspective and think, okay, I can maybe be involved in the European YGN or in the, uh, in the global YGN, so INC. So we can share a lot of perspectives, but we have to communicate, communicate, and communicate. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a um, uh, really great message to drive across. It's like, how do we develop those communication strategies? How do we uh, become stronger communicators? And I, and I like I like how you um, you bring this uh, global network as a as an opportunity for, for job opportunities for developing kind of a greater appreciation of what's, what else is out there. And I think that's that's one of my greatest takeaways uh, at this conference. Like whenever I come here, uh, I meet colleagues and we discuss how our industries are different from one another in comparison to life, life, uh, you know, work-life balance, right? There's, um, you know, what technical projects that we're working on, but also um, how, are, how are these industries evolving, right? And so I, I see colleagues here uh, that are maybe from Australia. I met a colleague from Australia who's working in Canada, right? And I was like, wow, like, this, is, this is phenomenal. And, and vice versa, right? There's colleagues from, uh, various parts of Europe working in, in other parts of the world. So uh, it definitely is a great opportunity. So, so Benoit, as, as the, you are the next president for the IYNC, the International Youth Nuclear Congress, uh, I think you're, you're going to take the lead for uh, representing uh, this global community, right? I think you did an amazing job with the young French generation, and now you're passing, uh, that torch is being passed on to you. Uh, what's your vision like for, for the IYNC? Yeah, so actually the vision for the IYNC is to, uh, that as the organization is very structured, to, uh, to continue with the strategy that has already been defined. So uh, IYNC exists for a little bit uh, more than 20 years ago. There was uh, there was huge leaders having worked uh, worked on the bylaws and so on. So to continue with the vision and to have this long term strategy for uh, for the organization. So uh, at the beginning, my my plan is like I've done for the YGN, to listen to everybody. I think listen is very important to take the input of the YGN, uh, of uh, the officers, of the team in general, to then build the, the vision all together with the team. It's very important not to come and to say, okay, I will say, do that, 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 and that, but to listen and then to uh, establish the, the roadmap in line with what has been done before. I think it's important to take the, the input for, from the previous boards and from the long-term strategy of the, of the organization. And something very important, so as you mentioned, I, I'm still on, uh, I was president of the French YGM, so my term for the French YGM uh, will uh, end uh, mid of uh, October. In IYNC, uh, you represent the world, so uh, countries with, uh, with a lot of nuclear power plants, countries with no nuclear power plants, maybe newcomers in the nuclear industry, and you really have to speak for this global young generation worldwide. Not only be focused uh, about your, my past experience in France, uh, not only think about the major player in the nuclear world in general. So really think globally and, um, and maybe helping future countries to reach the movement. I think it's something uh, great to, to have in the, in the future. What, what are some of the new initiatives you think IYNC can contribute to, or uh, what are some of those ideas that you want to bring to the table? Yes, maybe some uh, some new, uh, new ideas. So there's the, the YGN, so I know a little bit more the YGN world, and there is very good ideas in each YGN. 
And I think just to uh, having more opportunities to share between the, the way Jen, it, it's, uh, th there's a lot to, uh, to learn and there's uh, maybe some more things to do. There was already big things done, but uh, that's, uh, that's a point that uh, I want to go further, I would say. It's for one of the main points uh, I have identified for the, for the way Jen in general. That's great. Yeah, it's, it's really, um, I think it's really motivating and inspiring to see uh, these young generation of nuclear networks coming together, sharing expertise and knowledge, all those initiatives, right, that are going to be led by you. Um, so I think this was this was a really good conversation. Um, I think uh, it's great to great to have a conversation with you and chat with you, hear about your vision. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, you know, hopefully continuing this dialogue, right, um, uh, into your next term. And uh, is there any last uh, message that you'd like to leave with the audience? Uh, yes, maybe any any last message. So thanks uh, thanks a lot for the opportunity to discuss. And yes, I hope we'll continue because communication is, uh, as we said, it's very very important. And the job you do with podcasts and so on, I think it's amazing, and we really need that. So thanks a lot for for that. And um, yes, maybe a, a last message. And it's a message I often give. So for the people in the in the nuclear world in general, so we are we have uh, th important things. The first is safety. Always think about safety. Uh, that's uh, the, the first message. Second uh, message, you have to be convinced that what you do has a sense and it's good to reach the net zero. You, what you, and to communicate about that. And the third message is take every opportunity to meet other people like I want see, like your YGN, uh, like maybe on your continents. There's a lot of opportunities to meet other people, to learn more and take these opportunities. Awesome. Great message. Um, uh, for the audience, if you want to connect with the IYNC network or the French Young Generation Nuclear, uh, you can find the links in the description below. And um, till then, take care. Thank you so much, Benoit. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. All right. <laughs> take care, guys. Bye.